Um, I, it's been a while only because I had to move, then I had work, so I really did want to come here. So anyway, my name is Waneka, and I know these people, and I know him. So yeah. They're really nice people, and I always talk a lot, so he tells me when to shut up. <laughs> All right, so um, anyway, has anyone, does anyone know anyone from Nigeria? No, see, this is great. You got a charm, I know. Not you charm, but... <laughs> yeah, a different one. No. Oh, then I'm, I'm the nicest. I'm the nicest. <laughs> I, think the, I think my neighbor... And, he, neighbor. and he owes me money, too, if you, so if you run oh, into him... Oh, okay, yes, we, we do that. We owe people money. Because <laughs> they always think we're so sweet that we never pay back. So don't give a Nigerian money. We do not intend to pay back. <laughs> All right, so... <clears throat> I'm, I'm a copycat because some nights I'm listening to a CD and I'm stalking you guys on Facebook <laughs> and I'm compiling everything. I'm like, man, I wonder what I should write. His sounds good and his sounds good. <laughs> so like, and I like his music playing. I'm like, that's so talented. Um, so I just said I'm gonna wing it because I didn't have anything, but I have this in my mind of what I want to say. <clears throat> so here goes. It's, um, it's basically the whole um, idea that most times you have people looking at you, but not really getting a sense of who you are. I think I write a lot of these, so um, tell me when I'm over talking, okay? All right, so yeah. it's called, um, for once I wish you saw who I was. All right, so for once I wish you saw who I was. I always wonder what goes through your mind when you look at me. I mean, who do you see? And I see how you see people like me, but it's not exactly how I want you to see me. Sometimes I lay in bed and I wonder, how does this person see me? And I realize you don't really see me because you do not respect the person that I am. I don't know that it makes me sad. It, it makes me a little feel disrespected, but I, I guess that's something that I have to expect. How do you see me? I don't know, because you've never really told me. I see that you look at me, you look at me physically, but how is it that you really see me? And this name that you call me, what do you see in this name? Who do you see this person that you're calling? I see how you see other people, and I see how you see me. And I wish one day you would see me the same way I want you to see me. So that's it. Thank you. Are you going to go up more? So I can steal some more? Oh, you you go right now. Okay. Right now. All right, so this one I did write it many months ago. It's very wordy, because that's what we're known for, wordy people. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to read it. I actually came to see you guys read tonight, but you know. It's okay, I like the mic, so <laughs> it works too. Um, so this one is called, <clears throat> and bear with me because they do it through their phone and I don't know how they're able to see that tiny, tiny letter. And I left everything at home because I said, if I leave it at home, they won't call me up here. <laughs> but they have no respect. Well, honestly, if you haven't been here in a while, we're going to call you up. Oh, is that it? It's we just... kind of figured you already had something. And they disrespect me. I left everything at home for this very reason. And if I knew and I saw Mike, I'm like, uh-oh. I hope he's asking me for a quarter. He's like, no, can you go up here and embarrass yourself? I'm like, sure, why not? I'm staying here, right? That's oh, right. that was a blast, because I'm not a singer. She's right. I like to dance. Singing is just not it. <laughs> but they endured it, and they tolerated it, so I guess I'm a keeper. Um, this one is called, um, let's see how long. Oh, dear God, it's long. It's not that long. I'll speak fast. It's called, We Are Not Mindless, OK? It says, we are not mindless, but know that being mindless is not a crime. Your heart cannot take the ills all around. So you ignore the cries from beneath the grounds you walk on. As to say, if you look down, you have to acknowledge the hunger, the sorrow, the pain of those before you. Of the little girl across the hall, whose childhood was erased, raped by the vile things of the earth, by the mother who had too many children, too many men, 
too few loving eyes, to watch over her so that her precious life could breathe, breathe in the fresh air around her dreams, her dreams of that castle in the skies. Her dreams became our dreams, dreams we knew we could never realize. So we stayed mindless, not because we could not confront the pain all around us. It was that we did not want to confront them. We hid under our beds as if the boogeyman was coming for us. As we watched the mother hung herself with the news of self-hate, as the little boy turned to the streets to be educated in the ways of pimpology, because school was too cool to let him in. We watched with our eyes covered as the man is beaten, beaten down with lashes of despair. He is unable to amount to the man who loves the woman, who in turn becomes a mother that teaches the little girl of her self-worth. As the man teaches the little boy about the value of manhood, no, we are not mindless, not by choice. We are mindless because it hurts too much to see ourselves in the broken dreams of those who try to rise above. We are mindless because we fear the midnights in our minds that remind us of the, um, <laughs> sorry. I know. Fragility of our being and how quickly the evil within us can spread. So this was March. Obviously, I'm out of touch a little bit, but there you go. That's it.